everybody, this is John Bain. I want to welcome you to Scrap Mechanic Survival Modded. Hope you guys are doing pretty good today. I'm doing good myself. Don't want to forget to mind you all to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can be here when stuff happens. Because, well, we're back and we're back. <laughs> and it's been a little bit since the last episode. You know, the game kind of took over a little bit, then left, and then an issue, whatever. Anyway, so we're here. We're here now and we're doing stuff. And um, last episode, we did uh, some woodcutting type stuff and mentioned something about a tree farm. And I figured we could try a tree farm today. We'll do some preliminary banged in industry testing of the R&D department. It's been a little bit since we've done more of it. Well, actually, last episode, we did some R&D. But R&D has decided to change something with our device. Yes. Wheels don't do too good. But you know what does great? Baby cactus. And I made baby cactus wheels. Uh, this is like a little... Uh, uh, little shout out to like like a actually if you look back on my channel like way back like when scrap mechanic came out i did a foot wheel thing spinning wheel thing and um it worked okay and i was like well let's let's instead so i had two rows of these so let's triple it up and add some extra spots to it and my god talk about the difference it does a little spinny thing it has like the dirt come up but it actually looks like it's like working like working for real but it does way better um, especially on like grass and whatnot. The sand is still kind of like slipperyish, but the roads and stuff, like I have way better control. They're lighter wheels too. So they're not, they're way easier to turn too on top of that. So it works out pretty, see he doesn't even know what the heck's happening. He's like, you got baby cactus wheels? We're gonna get some. Coming soon from Bait Industries. Anyway, so that's been done on here. Um, and it does really well. I'm really, really, really happy with with like the wellness of it. But uh, I thought I'd share that with you guys. <laughs> Anyway, um, yeah, it, it really does. It does well. It does really good. Um, st some steep hills still give it a bit of problem. I, I don't know the friction versus the terrain is still kind of weird to me. Um, but and all in all, I think it's a good day for that. So today, though, it's not going to be. I just wanted to show you that. But today, we are actually going to jump into some um, tree type stuffs. Um, I have soil ready. Uh, we have other things going on. You can fertilize the tree stumps. I'm not sure how many guys we're going to get by just like, I want to test with like maybe, uh, I say four. Oh, and I moved my seed thing from here. I made a little billboard of seed things. So this side has our beets, our carrots, our tomatoes, our potatoes, our bees, and our kern. And then this side has all the trees, which actually I have some more trees to throw on there right now. Yeah, we're actually going to use these trees today. Um, and so let me pick up these trees and then put these trees on here for these trees. And then rotate these trees around. There's these trees right there. Then we're going to go over here and grab these tomatoes in my inventory. And put these tomato seeds right here with it correctly facing. And look at that. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's like a billboard of seeds. I, I guess that's beautiful. Anyway, um, what I was thinking is that uh, we can see how close we can get these trees together. So what's going to have to happen is we're going to try to plant some trees first. This is where the mod we've got. Uh, the link is down below for the collection. Um, and it looks like 10K has helped take over the forestry mod they've got. Uh, so there's that going on. But let's try this out. Let's see if four of them will pull anything. So we're going to get this. This Okay, here we go. There's one tree, two tree, three tree, and four trees. There we go. And then we're going to fertilize them. And hopefully it doesn't take too long to grow. And I hear something walking somewhere. And then what I'm going to do now is... I'm going to go ahead and put a border of this on here just to see if we can do anything with a border on it. And the reason why we're doing it on the road is because it's generally flatter and there's lot, there's no other variables going on with it. Um, and it doesn't look like we're going to get the the raid signal thing. So we'll still for We won't get greedy. We won't get greedy. We'll get into what the specifics are of what it pulls for a raid later on. So what happens when the trees grow up? Again, this is from a mod. When the trees grow up, it actually consumes the so soil. But the trees regrow. And you can also fertilize tree stumps. So what I'm thinking is we can work in a sensor system into this and have long... Remember how before I talked about doing something that would go up a tree, but the variable between the different types of trees are different? I think all the same tree types of the seed will produce the same kind of tree. So we generally have the same length of log to work with. And if that is the case, we're going to build something that goes up like a chute. Maybe have a sensor at the bottom have uh, just maybe one set of saw blades. And what the sensor is going to do is like while there's logs inside the lower, uh, right above the stump, it will activate the saw blades. Saw blades that go in and we'll also have the resource collectors on an opposing side to take out the logs as that falls down each chute and goes in. 
And if that works, we'll shoot. It should be amazing. And we'll be able to like have a constant source of wood. Um, pending on what the FPS drop is, there should only be a minimal amount of moving parts. Because if pending on how big the farm is going to need to be before we start pulling in um, raids and stuff like that, will depend on like you know how many moving parts there are. But I think right now, just testing it with four is good for bait industries. Four is a nice number for right now. And uh, we can get into like the nitty gritty of how many we can get away without a raid. And if we do a raid, how big the area is going to take up. It'd be awesome um, to work it out and get it nicely done. And that way, at least there's a constant amount of wood because we can have the resource collectors on, have the refineries on, connect a craft bot to the system to go ahead and turn this, uh, the wood into like better wood or whatever when we on demand. And I think it'll be nice all together. And actually, that looks like a nice little, little, little place to be. So what we got to do is wait. We're going to wait for these to grow up, and that will let us start doing testing our hypothesis of stuff. Um, probably have to go through three phases of growing to get to the point we're at. So I guess we'll just wait for it to happen and come back when it's done. So you guys, hold on. All right, welcome back. And um, I don't know if we're going to include the part that I recorded for this because I pretty much gave up. Uh, the, the seeds would not turn into trees. So... I ended up going into the... Uh, actually, I spent hours waiting for the seeds to grow in the trees. I guess I'm not going to show that part, but here you go. I'm telling you about it. I spent hours waiting for stuff to grow over here. Didn't grow. I was like, wait a minute. I don't know if trees can grow on the asphalt or not. So I went over here. That was after about an hour. I went out gathering, came back, wasn't done. I was like, oh, crap. So that was probably on me. Then I came over here and planted them on this with nothing over it. And nothing happened for a while. Then I said, screw it. I'm going to put this around it. And then I planted a separate tree over here, which uh, here's the remains of it right now. And I've destroyed the bottom of it because I don't want it there. It's in the way. Um, I'll clean this up. And then I planted this one, too. These were birches. And um, they never grew either. And so what I ended up doing is going to the game files and changing a couple things just to see what's wrong. And I went into, first off, uh, the tree trunk one. And there's like a tick timer. at 2.5. I moved it to much, much lower. And I chopped out this tree, and it almost instantly came back. So, okay, I moved it back. And then I went into the uh, Growing Harvestable LUA and changed. Uh, there's a section in there with the mod on it that has uh, um, the part about where it grows the birch or the pine or whatever. And um, there is a thing where this says grow fraction in there. And I moved it to 0, 0.0, and they grew when I came back in. So, and I'm telling you hours, I'm talking about four hours total of waiting for trees to grow and being patient. I did get some gathering done, which is great. We need to do that. But the, my time for the episode is pretty much like I'm way past time. Not that I'm complaining, but I'm tired as hell. <laughs> anyway, we prepped up stuff for this and um, I fertilized the, the trunks again on it and they will grow up again next to each other. And I checked on the uh, greenies page where the raid mechanic thing is. And these are considered level two um, the crops. So one more would it would be would bring another raid. Um, so right now we're just testing with four. I double checked it, but we could go up to it like about like almost like 40 or something like that and never get any tape bots or anything like that. Anyway, I prepped up. I crafted some things. Let's get to work here, guys. Let's get to work. Um, and I, oh God, I got to empty my inventory because we were doing things. Uh, oops, so where's my there we go. I crafted a bunch of crap, um, which is good. Having that is good to have because it's good. Um, I even went out, got stone, a bunch of other things. I'm not complaining. I'm just trying to tell you guys where I, what I've been doing the whole time. So, um, let's clean up some in here. And so I can do, uh, I was, I was just, I was, yeah, I'm back. <laughs> all right, let's grab some of this stuff. And I made all this wood to make higher guides for this than what I've got here for now. I'm probably just going to weld it on, um, to get it there, but let's just see what we can get. Now I was thinking for maybe like a sensor here is like maybe have this up like right here and then let's see if the sensor picks up anything did i grab the sensor uh i can tell i'm tired i don't even know i should be recording right now but we're gonna do it anyway we're gonna do it anyway oh i did make some more resource collectors and i went ahead and got one of those guys together um what am i doing over here i don't know uh i was going to drop off there we go we can drop off some more of that and grab the sensor all right and now they'll be growing back and it won't matter no, we're good. It's going to be a little while. Anyway. Yeah, and uh, when I changed the rates, I, I changed the back afterwards just because uh, I guess there's something up with the mod. Let's see if this thing's... Okay, so it's not picking up anything. And we know that these guys here on the side, we can count them. One, two, three. And then we got one, two, three. So we needed to be able to do 12. 
So, uh, let's see here. Let's go. Okay, we're going to upgrade you. Bam, that's what we need. All right, have a button. I might end up wanting to do three of these just in case and then hooking them up to a logic gate. But for right now, we'll just leave it the way it is and see how it goes. Um, and then on this side, um, I'm going to use metal for the bottom just in case it gets attacked by anything. things. So I don't worry about anything getting wrecked. Um, how close in can we get this? Okay, so it looks like... Okay, so one of these might be able to handle two. Uh, two logs, actually, which would be really nice. All right, so let's pull out this guy, like, right here, maybe, and just to see how we can get this going. Um, and then have this maybe back another, like, this far. This is just me going off the top of my head. That's how we do here at Bane Industries. You know, when you get R&D going on, you got to let that R&D roll. All right, we're going to make you wood. And actually, let's see. I can't. Oh, I forgot to grab. Let me grab a suspension. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go, 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 go. All right, let's, let's go. Let's go. There we go. There's a suspension here. And put you on. And actually, let me put this just greeny on the wall somewhere so I can get it out of the way. We'll put it on that. There you go. There you go. We're going to grab a second suspension. That way we're covered. And I'm going to grab a switch, too. There we go. Okay. Nice. And then we're going to take you. And I know I can't put you directly on there because we need to have a block. And how much space do we have? We're good to go right now. Maybe I need bearings. Hmm. Well, what I'm going to do is put this guy on here. And then have it set up to where they should be able to just go straight up. into. Yeah, we, we have plenty of room in here, it looks like, currently. Um, I'm going to probably move this back one. And just in case, so it has plenty of room. So let me do this. Let me clean out my inventory. I'm going to go ahead and build this little arm here and get set up. Maybe these will grow up by then so we can do some more testing. But we'll be right back. You guys hold on. Okay, welcome back. And we have trees. And I've got things set up. Oh, and there's this. Oh, I just killed some. There we go. Hey, bots. Um, anyway, um, I've got these set up. They're pushed back further. They're here on the edge of this. Um, the, the piston is hooked up. Um, as you can see here, we have two sets. I have a controller here that's up to, uh, to four um, with, on the blades. These blades are spinning interior-wise, and they're like that. And then I have these guys expanding and coming back together at a depth of five, and they're on a loop, too. And then on this side, I put up two resource collectors and one uh, refinery with that just to see how it goes. So let's just check this out, okay? Is it fast enough? It's not fast enough. Ah, I need to grab some. Ah, I was so excited. All right, let me get the upgrade. Let me get the upgrades. Uh, I have com components over here for it. Uh, oops, I had... There we go. Okay, I was about to say, man. We did some farming. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> Let's get over here. Let's do this. I'm excited. I really want to see this work. I'm really hoping it works. Upgrade and then all the way fast. There we go. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, they're pulling out. And they, just, they picked it up. They picked up the pieces. Is it, is it cutting him? Yes, it is. It is. Is it going to pull? Is it going to finish it? Okay, I'm going to upgrade this guy up faster, too. Uh, I don't have the stuff for it. All right, and go back. Yep. There we go. There you go. There you go. Let me go grab Let me go grab some more component kits. I want to get him. Those pistons, I think, need to move quicker um, to push the saw blades in and out. So we'll grab two of these and then oh yeah i had to upgrade the pistons that's what it was i had enough component kits i wasn't thinking this is worth it though uh upgrade there we go fully up and you 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 sir there we go and then you sir Up oh, ah crap ah i can't win <laughs> um i guess i should just cut this part out i mean, we're uh, we'll cut it out um uh, maybe I should grab one more. God, this is going to use all my... Oh, I have some left over here to use for my uh, crafting area. It's worth it. It's worth it. It's worth it. It's worth it. We got to do this. All right. And then take you and upgrade. Fast. All the way. Go. Press the button. There we go. There we go. It dropped down. That one didn't drop down, though. Oh, because that one's stuck in between. Okay, so I need to have a little bit better spacing going on here. Okay, let's see what happens. Why is that, is that one stuck on, on the edges of this? No, it just looks like it's wedged in there. Oopsie. All right, let's do this. Let's make him go six instead. And zero. There we go. 
There we go. There we go. There we go. That one on the top there is messing up, but hey, it's dropping them. Come on. Come on. Come on. Daddy needs you to move, please. There we go. There we go. Okay, okay. So we could put something that's like a mesh in there or something like that and fill in the holes too, because it's, it's obviously getting stuck in these little spots here, but that works for this so far. And it's filling it up. Ooh, we, got, we got some pine tree seeds and some leafy. Okay, and that's it. There we go. It pulled it out. There we go. And this is in here. And we got a decent amount of stuff here. Okay. So what I'm going to do... What's my friction on you? It's up kind of high. And what's the friction on the metal? I didn't really understand the... the I guess it's 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 got little nuts and bolts or whatever into it. There's some rivets in it or whatnot. So, okay. So I'm going to get some uh, mesh together and redo some of this with mesh. And see how that works. And we'll wait for the next cycle to get up here. Um, I'm thinking about maybe we need to have, I don't know, we'll, I need to have more sensors and then hook it up to, to a, a, a logic gate or something like that. Oh, I need to get, I'm going to go get some components, aren't I? It's worth it. It's worth it. I'll be right back. I'm going to do that. This is coming together pretty good. I'm excited. You guys hold on. All right. Welcome back. This is probably going to be the shortest, longest episode I've done with this series so far. Um, yeah, <laughs> and I'm not bad or anything like that. And it's like, you know, this is part of the fun of playing with mods and stuff get updated and it's not really Steam Workshop supported. This is how it goes, but we got something together. The machine itself is legitimate with the mod, you know, running and stuff like that. Uh, the stuff I've done, like I said, to try and figure out the stuff, I'm, I'm fixing it all after this episode back to whatever it was supposed to be, you know, but we got something working. I have the op option to have it. Well, it is automated now. I simplified everything a little bit, but I complicated a couple things. I don't know. I put three sensors in a row. I added another tree to it so I could make sure all portions of the bottom were covered. I did make little guides for the saw blades to make sure they stayed straight going in there as much as I could. Um, this is so, like, it, would, it doesn't accidentally break any of the stumps um, going in. Uh, all these are already set up. Actually, the pistons are directly set up to the logic, and they have fast move out and full range. Uh, it still has suspension on it. So what we have is the sensors here, as you can see, and they're set to 15, um, are going to a feed that says ore. So if any of these ores are going on, it's going to activate it. And then I have it going to a switch that says and. The and takes the button. So I can like not so I don't have this immediately get destroyed before I come back, you know, and I can talk to you guys. But the and will take in the uh the ore logic gate and this switch, and then those are running to the power to the blades, and it's also running to the pistons to activate them. They don't need to move in and out. They don't, because the flats of it will still chop whatever's above it. And should something fall it open and it'll drop down, I'll cut it in some more. I have this up pretty tall, though you can't really see it at all that's actually kind of cool um i've made i put in an extra re well i put an extra refinery in with two storages for now what i'd like to do is have it connected and then maybe have it to recycle bot or something like that but um it's all in here it's all ready to go the thing you have to kind of do if i want more of the seeds that pop out is pop out one of the meshes and then grab it but let's just go ahead and go into automation and go So it's cutting that, and they're going to finish out there. It's dropping it. There's one dropped in. You can't really see it. The FPS drops while it's happening, but it cleans up rather quickly. It's dropping down. It's dropping down. We have that other couple more to go down to. And it'll get dropped. There we go. Now we're losing branches. There's another one down. That one's going to lose a branch. That one should lose a branch soon. There we go, there we go, we're clearing, there we go, it's cleared out. And look, look how much it's already chopped this thing up. And see, whenever that one was about to fall down and in, it's too late, you're dead, you're gone, oops. And there is my only problem so far, is that it will go lay flat in here. Hmm, 
Huh, that's something I'll have to work out another time because... Oops, don't mean to hit that. Well, we can pick that up. We can pick up that. There we go. No, no, no. Hit this thing in there. There we go. I mean, you can clear it out with that, I guess, if you need to. And then just grabbing the, uh, the, the seeds out of here. It looks really kind of cool. It looks kind of cool. So it goes up. Oh, that's pretty much mesh. I put the extra reinforce reinforcement in there just because I thought it looked better like that. Um, it's in there. And there you can see it again. We have our setup here. So again, like we have, there's your sensors coming in. The sensors are set to buttons. In case you're playing modded and you want to do this, settings are set to buttons, all three of them. And depending on how much, uh, how long your trees are going is how deep you need your sensors. If you're not making it even bigger, you'd probably you have to put sensors on the other end and have it all tied in together. Um, and then it goes into the logic gate here. And again, that's an or. That logic gate and the switch goes to the and. Once again, if you want to control if it starts or not automatically, you know, you can just engage it, you know. So this way, it's not going to automatically do it. Or you just leave it alone and leave it on. This is going to keep on eating them up. And then here we have our, our, our actual thing that's driving the blades. Uh, it's set to, it's a fully maxed out controller set to completely fast with a loop 360. So it just spins just like it needs to. And the other one is going to each individual piston and depending on your depth that you've got set, it works. So it's, it's pretty much, it's, it does its job. And you know, we've done some testing. As you can see, there's a good amount of stuff in there. I think I grabbed one of the chests actually off the, the big boy over there, but that's generally there. Also, once the tree grows up fully, since it removes the soil plot, it won't count against the raid. So if you want to make a bigger tree farm with one of these, do it in sets of four. Like get four down, let it mature. Bam, you got the stumps. Put down four more soil, put down four more seeds. Keep on going down and you can make this as long as you want to make it. Well, get granted, you could put sensors in the front here and, and have them go in too if you want. But I like the long ways and I probably do these in tandem versus doing a really long one just to have a group. But this would be something good to set up away from the base because, well, I don't know. This isn't too bad, like, because when the trees grow, there's still no FPS drop. So I don't know. We'll see. And since the everything's supported here, it's good. But this has been, like I said, a really long day. I've had a lot of fun finally at the end of it. Like, to see the rewards happen from it is, is what I'm talking about right here. Um, what I would like to eventually do is actually build a fertilizer, um, a water, uh, well, vacuum pump to pump out the fertilizer going through here, but I just really do not have the time for that to get it all set up. But, you know, no one ever said working at Bane Industries would be easy. And, you know, but no one said, no one could not say it's not rewarding because, God dang it, this was fun. I got the, an idea we had from before in a previous episode has finally come to some level of fruition. We can make this look a lot better in the end, but for function use, it's, it's kind of there. I mean, honestly, it's kind of there. So... Um, with the with the fertilizer in it, these will grow back decently if you have enough of these going. Like you know, and with only three blades going in, you probably I, the reason why I use the suspension. Um, I find that when it lightly touches whatever's there, it does a better job in um in in, in handling the woodses. And so, like depending on the variable of whatever's falling through, it can adjust kind of on the go. And it really, when it's not in use, it's not that bad. So let's say we had like ten of these, you know, that that would be really good. 10 of these like that are at full length um so maybe like 10 so that'd be 100 trees at a time that's a lot of wood y'all <laughs> but anyway that is the time we got for today i'm sorry it's a shorter episode but at least you guys got to see a finished product it pretty much works i'll work out how to get uh, if i actually if i move the saw blades like flip them upside down put them in there it'll be just fine it would work just great and we wouldn't have to worry about the bottom honestly that's what i need to do so i'll do that for next time but anyway as always, thank you so very much, and you all have a good night.